Okay, folks, welcome back. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of change of plans here on Farm Sim. We are, I, I think with this precision farming, we're going to go through each layer a little bit more thoroughly. Um, some of you guys had some questions about it. And to be honest, I don't have the answers yet, so I need to figure them out. So, right here, we did, we kind of set up the lime and a fertilizer all before we put the mod in. And I was like, oh, we'll just kind of run the first year and we'll improve. But if you look in here at that pH value in the lower right corner, it says 6.2 of 5. For loam. Uh, let's see if we can get to another field here really quick. So, and it looks like the nitrogen could be low. So I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, so I think I might have a game plan here. Since we can't lime over lime. It was letting us, but it looked really weird. So in this corner, the nitrogen was almost green. Ah... So the pH looks good here. Oh, it's a little low there. And so something I noticed is that there's an automatic dealy diddly on it. So pH is basically our lime and nitrogen is our fertilizer now. And the main difference is each soil requires a certain level for each of them. So I think what we're going to do is let's get to... Frankenstein here and um, oh, it's getting a mixing ratio off that cart so let's come up here and this looks like it's an actually an automatic one so let's see what happens here um, when we run this on automatic and it looks like it's in the red right now and going up to the green so let's kind of just do this and I want to look at the map now and see if we get more of a clear definitive diddly doodler also we're gonna have to refill this fertilizer spreader aren't we yeah it looks like we absolutely are so um, and my game plan is is if we run the fertilizer like this um, we can come back through and lime areas that need to be limed. So this looks like it's automatic. Nitrogen is now 200. Let's see what that looks like on a map. Uh, soil types, pH, nitrogen. Oh, see, now because we're in the green now. Look at that. All this is red. Huh. Okay, see, now we're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. And this looks like an automatic deal. So, we do have one issue that I think is going to happen. If we run through this right here, let's see. Let's just take a look. Right? Oh, look at that. See, it's automatic. It quits using it if we don't need it. Alright, so that means I got to take my width on this machine down. And we got to run like so. Alright, now you can see it's updating on the map here. You know what? It might have been updating on the map. Oop. It might have been updating. Oh, shoot. I got to refill this. I'll be right back. All right, so if you look on the map, it looks like even that grass field actually needs it. So let's try this again. Does that get it all? It does, in fact, look like it's getting it all. So that's a nice thing about this fertilizer spreader. Man, does it burns through it, though. Holy cow, 90% just on this one run. Wow. Oh, because it's automatic. It's putting everything it needs on. Oh. Alright, so. That's interesting. So it's dumping fertilizer out. Look at that. But, I believe the field is good now, right? Let's look. P. 
pH level. It 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 it's, it looks like on the map we're close. It looks like dark green is where we want to be. And so let's go over here to this part of the field. Oh, a pH is bad. Okay, so I'm glad we're doing this. Now, hmm. Let's see here. 200 kg per hectare. All right, so I think that's actually, I think we've kind of figured out what we're doing a little bit on the fertilizer. We got it really close. We got it to an acceptable score. But if you see, we have an environmental score going here, guys. And if you remember right, when we were reading about this, um, it was talking about how that if we do uh, natural manure, oh, there it is, first one right there, uh, scoring aspects. So the scoring will change depending on the fertilizer. The maximum score 30 will only be reached if you use manure sensor for organic fertilizer, fertilization, and crop sensor for the uh, mineral. Okay, so, hmm. That maybe makes me think, right? We have, let's go over here really quick. I do believe we have a fair amount of manure built up, right? 21,000, it's not a ton. Oh, but we do have the pigs as well. That might be a little bit. Um, 700. So I don't know if this will load automatically, but I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking, guys, we should take a look at manure spreaders. And in the process, we know this guy isn't going to work. So maybe we take this guy back up, and we will get a new one. So my thought is we may have to take the John Deere up. We might have to take silver up because uh, we may need a bucket if we do have to manually load this. I don't know if we do or not, but we're probably getting to the point on the farm where having a bucket probably really isn't going to hurt us. And I kind of want to see how this whole fertilizer thingy and majig diddly doodler uh, works. And also, I'd like to really add, it'd be super nice. Uh, you know, uh, most YouTube actors <laughs> have stunt doubles to do their hard work for them, the annoying work of refilling fertilizers and stuff. I don't have that. Uh, all jokes aside, though, I actually like that little stuff in this game. It kind of keeps you going. So I think what we're going to do... Um, Besides, guys, this too doesn't have the new thing that we're going to need on it anyway. Uh, as you can see, they have like an applicator thing. We'll go look at that when we get up there. But I have a little bit of a drive ahead of me here, guys. Okay, we are up. We're going to go talk to Flo. Now, it does see auto there on the the left of our controls that's why i never take the controls down is that way you guys can see what function i have on each thing a lot of people hide that but i don't feel like that's necessarily a great idea for me and what i want to put so we're gonna get on that and we're gonna sell that let's go and put silver over here now we this thing was a pain in the butt for us no matter what now Okay, I got the hiccups like every episode, but we're going to power through it. So, slurry take and this guy. So, we had an issue with this um, not being ideal for what we want, because not only does it take 150 horse to run it, it takes another 40 horse to run the back. And when we were looking at there, there was better options. That was a good get us in the thingy doodler there option. Um, but you can see now we're going to have to get one 
see the manure sensing. So we're going to have to get another one anyway. I don't really want to spend the money on this one. I know it would only be 10 grand to add it, but I feel like we could just save up and get a one down the road that might require less horsepower and all that anyway. And we could use this towards our manure, um, oop, our manure uh, fund. All right, so now that we have a good manure fund, we're not going to go crazy. I want to get a smaller one. We don't have a huge thing going on right now. Let's see, 18 to 15. That'd be 33. Uh, hmm, 80 horse. Hmm. And it doesn't look like it has... Maybe these have automatic systems because I'm not seeing anything you can buy. That's 50 grand. Maybe... Let's see what we got in the mod territory. This one is four meters wide. That would be a very good starter one, but we kind of want to go one step above it. This one is 200 horse. This one is lower. Hmm. Do we want a Roland? Oh. Or do we want this guy here? Hmm. I feel like this guy can spread farther. Uh, but I think that's going to be something we might get into a little bit later. This is 200 horse to run, though. Boy, we... This is 170. Man, as much as I would like... Maybe we start out with this one. I'm thinking we start out with this one and we eventually get maybe a little bit better one. Uh, that's six grand. Hmm. Let's do just a 12 for right now. Uh, that looks pretty cool. All right. I think this is the one we're going to go with, guys. And I'm going to take this back to the farm. Oh, also... Ooh, that was close. We almost didn't get a bucket while we were up here. Let's grab... Hmm. Owned items. John Deere. We should have an arm thingy doodler of justice. Where are you? There we go. And we could put a bucket... On our John Deere thingy doodler. Um, wait, we can. Oh, that's not it. Oh, we could put a. Oh, that's a huge bucket. I uh, yeah, we're. Oh, a manure fork. Hmm. Can we put manure in the bucket? It looks like we can. So I think we're just going to get a bucket because it carries more anyway. And uh, do we have John Deere Green? Uh, we do, but I kind of like the black. So let's grab the black. I will say this manure spreader looks a lot smaller while it's in the shop <laughs> uh, the fact that this is a starter one concerns me a little bit <laughs> alright let's go back and get ready now because of that manure spreader is actually 170 horse we have no option but to put it on uh, the Pink Panther here. So let's get the Pink Panther backed up to this guy. Now, I'm thinking we could probably get away. Um, hmm. Let's park it right here. Okay, so it does automatically fill. You guys can see we're already close enough to automatically fill it. But I do want to see real quick... 
if we can manually fill it. In fact, we have some in that other one, so let's go over there to that other one first. I need a quick grab, driving through the grass, too. Um, can we... Oh. It looks like we might be able to manually fill this. Man, every time we do something on the farm, I really like it. Like, I'm genuinely excited about a manure spreader. I don't think there's going to be a lot of people <laughs> on YouTube that are going to be... Oh, and it fills it. This is awesome. All right. So, let's put the tractor away. It's really cool that we know we can manure spread it. Or, I mean, um, do it that way if we need to. Oh, my gosh. This thing looks even big. Let's start filling it. This thing looks even big. Uh, for, hmm, oh wow, that's taking quite a bit to fill this, isn't it? Are we only going to get the one run out of it? Oh, it looks like there's going to be a little bit left. Um, but I am really, really thinking I'm going to like this. So, um, Trying to think what field we should do. We should pick a littler field is what I'm thinking, actually. And we're going to have to try this bad boy out. It started snowing, by the way. Um, so let's try to get this going. Obviously, we're probably going to be limited by the, uh, by the snow. So real quick... Let's see, nitrogen, yeah, they're, oh, that's right, we looked at the map, they're all red. Um, let's see if this will fix that issue, right, let's go down, yeah, these are, both of these are red, so I'm thinking, alright, moment of truth, oh, we have to unfold it, oh, fancy, Oh, to change nitrogen preference level. How do we do that? Um, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it looks like we might have to go over this a few times, actually. Oh, I get it. I get what you're laying down here, game. So, we can't change it when it's running. And it does look to be automatic. So, I basically, we're laying down as much as we can, it looks like here. Alright, let's turn this off. Let's check our map. Oh, I didn't even have the map up. So, now we're into the orange on this one. And it did look like that little bit we kind of did twice there uh, did, in fact, make it go up to the green. And so uh, I can't wait till our livestock gets up because I'll be honest, uh, I really want to do a lot of the organic stuff like this because I think it's fun. I know it's a little bit more tedious than just taking that big fertilizer spreader down the road. But it would also be really cool if we were kind of self-sufficient. Not just like in the environmentalist uh, way of saying it, but um, if we didn't have to buy fertilizer on the map, that'd be kind of cool because we were doing our own thing. All right, let me see. I'm going to work on uh, getting this field here done, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh, it looks like we actually are going to have enough to do these two fields. Now, not fully, but to be honest, we don't... I mean, we're still kind of starting on our animal deal. And uh, so the fact... There we go. So it looks like we're starting to understand our fertilizer processes, which are really good. Um, but let's go over here. Let's... Uh, hit this up because this would bug me 
and um, actually these little spots will bug me too but we'll we'll not worry about that so let's fold it up and it's not saying it says we can change it but it's not saying we can or not actually adjusting it so first things first let's see what we have left it in this fertilizer spreader and fill it really quick because um, I think what we're going to do is we're probably... Oh, wow, there isn't that much in there, is there? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know that we're actually going to be able to a whole lot with that right now. But we can unhook this here. Uh, this episode went by really quickly. But I think we got our precision farming fertilizer. The way we're going to fertilize between this and then we're going to eventually get in a new slurry tank. I think we have this all on lockdown, guys, now. So I'm going to go hunker back in the house the rest of the day because it's snowing. Um, but I will see you guys in the next episode, folks.